so here's what I have planned. Um, almost like an entire ecosystem of of jumping spider enclosures. Um, so this is a module for the thermometer slash humidex meter or humidity meter. Um, and it can be like selected or not selected. I don't know what, if, like what, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm new at this. Um, and basically uh, this is the base and the plexiglass uh, will slide into it. And there will also be channels in the pillars that go on each four corners. I don't know if the back is typically solid or if it's typically open with plexiglass. Um, so that kind of feedback would be good. And everything is going to be pieced together with either hot glue or super glue when you re well, like whoever receives it. Um, and it's going to use these little pegs, basically. So pegs go in there. And I put peg holes in the pillars thinking that it would be cool if I could 3D print like branches and little homes and like little add-ons. Um, I even have a peg in the back of this thing. Uh, well, I will have a peg in the back so you can put like a little sign here. Um, like I, I made one uh, called, uh, or one that I just kind of put together. I don't know if it's something, but it says tiny but mighty. Come on. Tiny but mighty, and then it could slot in there, and you can have a little sign, or you're like your your spider's name. Um, <clears throat> so I just uh, thought it was uh, kind of a neat touch. Uh, I'm I'm just wondering, like, what's the like? I don't have a jumping spider, so I'm wondering what else does it need. So I've got ventilation holes at the bottom, and this is the top piece, and uh, the little uh, pot light will uh, stick in there, and hopefully they're coming today. Um, and then I'm going to 3D print a little cap that would go on the, uh, the t this this here would be the, the top of it, and you can see the little pot light recesses in there. Uh, and then I'll print a little cap that uh, goes through, and there's a little wire channel here, uh, and that'll cover the, the pot light and the wires that would go along this. And, uh, and then for the top, and I'm hoping this is okay, I left it wide open. So rather than having like a door to open, um, the plexiglass would actually just slide up. And I, my understanding is that any hole smaller than a millimeter is safe, like that a jumping spider won't get out, especially an adult one. Um, so there's only 0.2 millimeters between um, the plexiglass, just so it's able to move freely. Um, and these vent holes are 0.6 millimeters wide. Um, and I'm hoping that provides like enough ventilation from bottom to top. Um, do people put dirt in the bottom? Like, is that is that going to be a problem with vents on the bottom? Um, like, these these are the kind of questions I have. Um, so I, I don't know uh, if anyone wants to provide some feedback. Um, I've got that lady on Facebook. She's uh, she's gonna test for me the the first run, and it'll be like an iterative process. But I, I just want to make sure I'm on the right track because I've kind of put a couple hundred dollars into supplies um, because. I just kind of nerded out about the spiders. They're so cute in their eyes. Anyway, um, and yeah, now my daughter wants one too, so I'll probably test with my daughter. I just want to make sure I don't end up killing these things that I provide the the right uh, environment for them. And like, I'm gonna, I'm a little worried that that pot light. I think it's three watts. Like, is it gonna be too bright? Or, or if I mean, it's at the top, so any heat should rise out of it. But um, also, I'm I'm designing it so. Right now it's sitting flat on the floor, but on the underside of the base, there's little square pegs again. And I'll print little like different feet. Like some of them will be basic and just kind of look like this, like a little triangle. But I was thinking I could do like the bathtub claw foot kind of thing. Uh, and I could also print a little adapter that would allow you to stack these on top of each other. So if you had, you know, two or three, you could have, actually have it two or three high and these pegs would hold it all together stable. And you wouldn't have to glue them together. You can just kind of stack them on these pegs. Um, so just kind of all, uh, all that, uh, just a lot of questions. And I just want to make sure I'm doing it right before I, uh, start, you know, wasting more money on it. Um, yeah. So any feedback, uh, hopefully some of this made sense, uh, kind of rambled a bit, but, uh, if you guys have any questions or actually if you guys can answer my questions, <laughs> that would be awesome. Cause, uh, I have a feeling that, uh, my daughter's going to be getting a jumping spider as soon as she can find one. Uh, thanks so much guys.